So you're looking at that little white box, an interesting gadget, certainly has a high tech quality, but what exactly is it? Well, that's why we're all here today. We're trying to figure out what the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The New Gadget Game Show. And I'm your host, Steve Greenberg. You might recognize me from NBC's Today Show or from TV appearances around the country. And that's what this game show is all about. We've got a mystery product and we're trying to figure out what the heck it is. And we've got a great panel to help us do it. First up, let's me introduce Miss Candy Samples. Hi, Candy. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me back. My pleasure. Now, you haven't been hibernating during the pandemic. You're a, a singer, songwriter, drag queen that's been recording an album for the release later this year. And of course, you are the queen of queens and also the queen of the bears. Miss Candy Samples, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I always love being here. Next up, we've got the other queen of queens. We've got Lois Whitman Hess, and she is a PR maven, a podcaster, and she meets our requirements of a red-haired empress as Candy's a red-haired empress. So are you, which is so great. And we really appreciate you as always. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure being here. And last but certainly not least, there's Harry Redlick. He's an actor, ad man, writer, and uh, he meets our other requirement, no hair. So that seems to be the requirement today. Either you no hair or red hair. That's that's what this game show is. Seems to be the requirements for today's show. Listen, okay. Listen, I, ha I have a red wig in the bedroom that I could put on too. <laughs> well, so, so, you, so do I. You still meet the requirements, and so does Andy. So, it's, so there's no shortage. I really don't, honestly, but but, but to be I, here, could, here. I could dye this red. Pleasure to have you. Okay, so let's take a look at the product right over there. There's our gadget. And um, I guess we're gonna do our first round of questions and kind of figure if we can figure out what the heck that is. I guess we'll start with Candy. And Candy, what are your thoughts? What, what's your yes or no questions? So like 20 questions uh, okay. to try and figure out what that is. I wanna guess what it is, but yes or no questions. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing along. I know how this game works. Is okay. this- is, is this used indoors? It is used indoors, correct. It is used indoors. Okay. So that eliminates a lot of outdoor things. Okay, next we go to Miss Lois Whitman Hess. What's your question? Hmm, because of my age, the only thing that comes to mind is this anything to do with pills? No, no, <laughs> do it both. But you're right, that is the, the right demographic for the age group. But no, nothing to do with pills. So, uh, very good question. Next, we go to Harry Redlick. Harry, take a look at this. What do you think this is? Or what, what's your question about it? Um, is this something that you would use in a particular room in the house? Yeah, absolutely. You would use it in that one room, and I think it would stay there indefinitely it's nothing you wouldn't move it around to another room once it's there it's there for the duration so let's go around for another round of questions so we're going to go back up to miss candy samples what's your question candy okay um does this um correspond w any way with my computer no it's completely computer free it doesn't use the internet doesn't need your wi-fi doesn't need a password um but it, it stays it's, in the room it stays stays in one room you can pick whatever room you want i mean it could easily be a bedroom a living room a den once it once you put it in that room i mean you could move it around but you probably wouldn't you'd probably keep it in that one room okay okay miss lois whitman hess what do you, hmm. What's your question? Does this product have anything to do with lights and appliances? Yeah, I would say that's a good, a good, you've narrowed it down. It has something to do with lights and appliances, yes. Uh, though there is a little bit of a trick to that, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you a yes on that one. Okay. Let's go over to Harry Redlick. Harry? Is this product Wi-Fi enabled? No, no internet, no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. Uh, I stand by what I said earlier, still still no. Um, 
But Lois was the warmest with what her question was, if that helps at all. So with appliances that in and what did she say? Appliances and she said it has anything to do with lighting and appliances. Can we see and it? Say, Can we see it again? Sure, absolutely. Let's put it up there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the puppet stage and I'm gonna turn it around. It's got oh. a little thing back here. It's got a switch back here. Of course, the blue tape hides the logo that would give it away, but it's not very big. And in fact, when I got it, I was surprised it was as small as it was. I, you know, just from seeing it before I got it, I, I was expecting something larger. Okay, um, let's go around again. Miss Candy Samples, okay. what's your question? Would this be associated with one of my gentleman callers? <laughs> wow, that's a very good question because I don't really know what's associated with your gentleman callers, but I would say no, it's not associated with your gentleman callers, I don't think. Okay. Lois Whitman Hess. Don't ask the same question. I, but I don't think you answered me correctly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. No. Um, does this have anything to do with controlling the environment? No. It, well, nothing to do with controlling your internal environment, meaning temperature or air, but it does have something to do with controlling something in the outside world a little bit. So there is a, this does give you a little bit of control. So I don't know if it's exactly what you meant. I'm sure it isn't, okay. but I'm hoping my answer is helping and not confusing. Harry Redlick, what are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are that I'm very confused. Okay. Um, I, uh, uh -oh. something you... come out of those uh, indentations. Okay, well, that's a good question. And what I'm going to do as a hint, I'm gonna turn it on. So right oh, now it's good. Off. So let me turn it on. This requires me to pick it up for a second here. Let me get this set up like this. Oh, oh my God. It's a disco butt light. It's not a disco light. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, got epilepsy and, and honestly, in trouble. It looks way different on Zoom than it does in real life. So, so that's what does it look like? What does it look like in I real think life? I'm having an epileptic fit. Yeah, so I'm it doesn't, an epileptic it doesn't, fit. It's flashing a lot more on Zoom than it is on in real life. In real life, it's kind of gently going between different colors, but in on Zoom, it looks like it's having a some sort of brain collapse so i have no idea why that is and that was and that's an unexpected side effect of zoom which i should have tried out last night so i'm gonna disconnect it because we don't want to be the cause of someone's Ooh, i tell you that that well i'm just gonna call the product moderna dose two I mean, <laughs> <Moderna. laughs> well i heard you had problems with your second I dose, did, so I did, that... I did. dose two just really just kind of knocked me down like you know five you know shots <laughs> what, what well, now that, okay, we've seen it in action, sort of, all kind of a hyped up version of it in action. I guess we got to go around and just kind of guess it and see if anyone can guess this one. This is gonna, mm. I have a feeling we're, we, we may have stumped the crowd, uh, but Candy, you, you go first. What are your thoughts? What do you think it is? Um, okay, well, oh, I'm gonna, I... Well, if we have some thinking music, have a little bit of thinking music right here, give you a little moment here. A little bit of thinking music and hopefully the Jeopardy folks won't sue us. Okay. Oh, yeah, we need, we need thinking music, new thinking I'll, music. Write you the thinking song. I try to think all the time. Um, <laughs> I try. Um, okay, I, is, is it some kind of a security tracker? Oh. It, well, mean. it's that's correct in that it, it does fall into the category of security but okay. it's not a tracker, but it is a security product. So excellent, excellent guess. You wow. deserve at least a point for that. Next, Lois Whitman Hess. What are your, what's your guess? I thought we were verbally guessing. It's okay, what's your verbal guess? Okay. <laughs> um, I thought, I'm lying now because Candy said something. <laughs> I know, that's why we have you write it down because this is exactly how oh, cheating okay. happens. Oh, um, okay. All right, I was gonna say, you said 
controls the outside environment. So I was going to say that it, that it does something with the shading of windows so you can't see in and out. Okay, no. not right. Okay, not okay. right, but okay. And that was luckily you didn't use cheating to get the right answer. Okay, I next one. <laughs> Move on to Harry Redlick. Harry. So I said a Zen LED relaxo light for pre bedtime. I thought maybe you looked into this and it, 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 you know, the sequences calm, yes, calmed you down and made you feel ready for bedtime. It would be a lovely idea, but it's not. But I think what I'm it gonna... is. No, 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 don't tell us. I think one candy to guess. I, 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 I thought. Yeah. I yeah, thought, don't I thought it was a doorbell thing, extender to the a doorbell or a, um, a, 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 a smell good something. It's secure. No, it's secure, but it has to do with security. 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 Oh, okay. security. Not, yeah, I, I, but I have, I bet, does it tell your dog not to leave the room? No. Okay, <laughs> what it is, is, and you, this is a good one, I no, think. No, it's no. called the Intruder Discouraging uh, Television simulator or a fake TV it's from the folks at Hammerker Schlemmer. And what it does is it projects light so it looks like your television's on. So even if you're not home, people looking in your window will see that flickering light of color and will think your TV's on. And it's, it actually has a light sensor on it. So it comes on at sunset. It'll stay on for five or six hours and then go off. Wow. So when you're away, it will give the impression that you are at home. And in fact, we have a video to show up because you can't be a product these days without a real video. So take a look at the video. Now there's an easy way to make your home show signs of life when you're away. It's a new burglar deterrent called Fake TV. Fake TV uses LED lights to make exactly the sort of light a television produces. From outside, it looks like someone must be home watching television. So while you're away, Fake TV makes your home look occupied. This makes your home a less appealing target for a break-in. Fake TV costs a lot less than an alarm system. And fake TV is a lot more convincing than a lamp on a timer. Oh, that's great. Emma Schlemmer, if you searched fake TV, or I think its official name is the Intruder Discouraging Television Simulator, or fake TV. So uh, that's what that is. Pretty clever, huh? Love it. Clever. Never would have guessed. I, 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 Same I, I, here. Never. Clever. Okay. Well, okay. Well, thank you, folks at Hammerker Schlemmer. When we come back next time, we will have another great product where we'll all be asking the question, what the heck is that? And please come back when you come back. Subscribe, tell your friends, comment, like. We can use all of that. So please do that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm demanding it. Subscribe. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.